Hey guys, before you say that I'm overreacting and clearly this is a joke, this is a joke, let me define you what a joke is. People make jokes once in a while. People do not joke around something all the time. The Manosaur said that his $15 creeping tar pit, which is now $3, was a snarky joke. Maybe if it was a so one-time ordeal, yeah. Maybe it's a joke. But after selling out to Pika Trade for $15,000 plus, and I will argue in a video that it was actually closer to $20,000, which he spent already on Pika Trade, and after selling out to the monthly magic box, at some point in time, it's not a joke. At some point in time, you're just a sellout. And here, I'm going to present evidence. I'm going to present a point of view, a discussion topic on why this is not a joke and why we as Magic players need to take this seriously because they're coming after us. They're hounding us and there is no one left. I mean, you if you had to ask MTG headquarters or Rogue Deck Builder or even Rudy what they honestly feel about this topic, off the record, they would probably say something very similar to what I'm going to say on the record. And I think I've had enough of this. And it is one thing to criticize. I'll get to the point. And the point is, there is a movement and the movement is very strong. It is aided by a lot of people who are actually in the the movement is against a certain type of person. And for whatever reason, this cert certain type of person actually supports the movement. So I, I don't know. I don't understand it, but okay. April says, hey, Channel Fireball, NBD, but it would be super cool if you could use gender neutral pronouns when referring to your opponents. YouTube comment, women in other countries have their genitalia mutilated and have to marry their rapists. Now, this is a common tactic. Um, if I posted a video, yes, I'm gonna get some hateful comments, but then you screenshot the hateful comment and then you act like everyone, all males feel this way. Although it's probably some 12 year old in his parents' basement, but you screenshot it and I'll show you the comment on YouTube. It's quite amazing how this gets, um, and now the channel Fireball content creator who was playing Magic Online, and I've seen the video, whose opponent was 99% likely to be a male, because how many females play Magic Online? Not that many, right? And I know it's a small thing, but could you please use they when referring to your opponent? Question mark. There are women like myself out here watching your videos and playing modern. Uh, and here we have E. Garrett. In other countries, women have their genitalia mutilated, can't drive or show their face in public, and are forced to marry their rap, rap make, rap make, rappers. It's a testament to this country that you're so utterly spoiled and pandered that you think your slightest discomfort is caused to demand attention and chains. Now, do I agree with this comment? No. But the majority of males do not agree with this comment. You chose the one psychopath that is a little weird and maybe he's 12 years old. Maybe he lives in one of these countries. Who knows? And now people want to know who? Who is this person? Where is the video on? And let's ban him. And the video is Blue Black Mill Modern Channel Bob Hahn. <laughs> so Bob Hahn in this video probably correctly determines that his opponent, given that it's Magic Online, is likely to be a male. So he references his opponent as a he. This is too offensive. This is too offensive. We have to use a gender neutral pronoun. Now there's a big movement, not just in Magic. This is a movement in everywhere, I guess. And I think that it's one of the things where gingerbread men, man, a gingerbread man cannot be called a man anymore. It has to be called a gingerbread person. 
the gingerbread person lives in the gingerbread house now. Or living area. So, I mean, and then she points out Channel Fireball. Why is she pointing out Channel Fireball of all the likes? I think there's 500 likes on it. It's to put pressure on Channel Fireball to tell Bob, hey, hey, Bob, yeah, don't use he anymore. I know that you're naturally, you use it and you grew up with it and you don't know better, but because of some random dude, random day, you have to use gender neutral pronouns. And then Bob would probably say, hey, well, what if I know my opponent is a he? Don't, don't say it, Bob. You're going to get us in trouble. We don't want any more bad, we don't want the dislikes and the bad comments. So this is a clear tactic that is being used to, I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest, unless I have actual data, I don't believe 40% of the player base is female. 40% of the player base on Magic Online is not female. That cannot be the case. And I don't believe even 14% of Magic players are female. And I know this is offensive to so many of those female players out there. But, and then here we have Emma. Um, Emma, in case you didn't know, she, she wrote for Projo, and I always call her a C out of respect. But before Emma was writing, I mean, when Emma was writing for Projo, she had another name. So I call her a she because I can look at a picture. She looks, she's a female. That makes sense to me. But when I'm playing a online, let's say I'm playing Call of Duty. Would I reference the opponent as a he or would I reference the opponent as a they? They, my opponent, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense, right? To me, at least. And here, we so I would love to know. Uh, for the record, you know, for the record, my CTO was a very famous female developer uh, when we made our software company together. And she was kick ass. But she never had like any issues with this. I don't. I, I, she lived in a developing. She lived in a area where the developers in Houston are 99% male. That's just the fact. I have not seen many female developers. I have gone to many events. Maybe they don't go to events. Maybe that's a problem and they're actually just at home developing stuff. And that's cool. But my personal experience is my CTO is very unique and she acts and behaves like it, this doesn't matter. Like I don't care if you're a he, a she, a purple alien. I don't hear, care if you're Kobe Bryant, although that would be pretty awesome. Big Kobe fan and LeBron fan. Um, I don't care if you are a spotted polka dot, polka dotted hippo from the moon. If you can develop and create an app, then I'm going to hire you. Yeah, spotted polka dot. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of weird. You wouldn't go to client meetings, of course. We would have to kind of put you in office by yourself. But here we have YouTube. Do you think that people on YouTube are all, always going to comment nice things? Have you been on YouTube? Have you been on Twitter? So the tactic is very simple. Let's say something, and then when some random dude responds to us, let's screenshot it and then just go and just pretend that every random male thinks this way. And then we'll get lots of likes. People will say, this is a joke. It's a joke that she wanted to give free MTG Arena unlimited accounts to people with exactly her number of subscribers. Don't you get it? It's a joke. No, I'm here to tell you this is not a joke. This is a serious discussion. And this is where we're moving. This is where Magic the Gathering is moving. And then here we have people who are now going to support her. Um... This is why Magic's dying, not because it fails at the game, poor financial, toxic... So, this guy probably didn't even play Magic. Dude, you don't even know if this random person you commented with the uh, screen share, I am random person, oh free, isn't even a Magic player. So let's put all the assumptions, let's assume this is the typical uh, white male Magic player. And my gosh, look at how he thinks. And, you know, no one liked the comment, no one even... I mean, come on, like, do you see some of the comments I get on these videos? Why is it just joking? He, clearly no one wants to buy Creeping Dog Pit. He is so super smart. 
super smart. The cheeseburger is actually delicious. Look at all this grease. The grease makes it more delicious. So you get things where, who are these people? Like, honestly, who are these people? And they, they, they actually play magic or are they only in it? The one thing that 4chan taught me after my experience on 4chan was that the majority of people on some a comment like this, they're not actually interested in magic. They don't own a magic card. They don't buy magic cards. They don't play magic. They're just interested in the fire. They're interested in the the drama, if you will. And that's why this channel is what it is. Because you do need a little bit of pushback. Now, I'm not saying we should not use gender, gender neuter, well, gender, uh, gender neutral nouns when we can and we assume that, oh, there's an equal chance of that person being female, an equal chance of that person being male. We're talking about someone playing on Channel Fireball against someone else on Magic Online on Modern. Yes, there is a possibility that opponent is a she. There is an even smaller possibility opponent is multiple people, a they, they. But the large probability, a very large probability is the opponent is a he, and Bob is talking about a he because although we don't see the opponent, we can assume that it is a he. And then that random comment about things, I mean, you just get random comments about everything, but that don't be offended by it, you're online. You're online, I mean, you're just online personality, and now we're getting offended, like, Really? Like, how long have you been online? You have 94,000 followers, right? Have you not received a comment like this before? Like, so, I mean, in conclusion, I will go, I'm going to draw a conclusion. And then that one dude is like, I cringe every time they say, he said a he. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, it's, so in conclusion, this problem is amplified, but all the he's, supporting this type of uh, situation. And now poor Bob is being criticized and being like ostracized and maybe he loses his job on Channel Fireball because he used a he on an opponent that was 99% likely to be a he. And now from here on out, all Channel Fireball writers and content creators now have to use a they. So they use the social pressure and a random comment to change our society. And, you know, Channel Fireball will, of course, give in because they give in easily to anything. If donuts were people, the donuts could tell Channel Fireball, we don't want donuts at the event. And Channel Fireball would be like, yeah, no donuts at the event. Male privilege ranting about being spoiled and pandered. Bet you alt color is a male. Uh, someone else has it worse than you, therefore your problem. And you see how they always, you know, April's not a dummy. She includes Channel Fireball. This whole thing includes Channel Fireball. So it makes it seem like Channel Fireball is the one who said, you know, the comment, right? Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird that Channel Fireball is not being dragged into this conversation that no brand wants to ever be dragged into just because a random person commented on their YouTube video? Look, Channel Fireball is attached to all of this. So when you search the stuff, if you search Channel Fireball on this day, you're going to talk about rap, the rappers, and the mutilated, and all types of stuff that you do not want associated with your brand. Therefore, Channel Fireball will need to change. And this is a tactic used very commonly by social media people. And honestly, like I'll be honest, this that is deplorable. Referencing, of course, the Hillary calling Donald Trump deplorables, right? The voters deplorable. What a lunatic, Will Bank says. And look at the Channel Fireball. <laughs> they, they are attached to it. So April's fine because she's like, oh, I look great. But Channel Fireball does not look good. And she drags it. I mean, Channel Fireball, Bob just made a video. He wanted to show off his mill deck in Modern. Then, unfortunately for him, April commented... And even more unfortunately, somebody posted a mean response. This led to 500,000 people, maybe even tens of thousands of people associating in some way Channel Fireball with this situation. 
just because Bob chose to use he. Do you think Bob is going to use he next time? Do you think Bob has a job? Those answers are unknown. I see this a lot. I mean, there are million reasons that there are millions of reasons that um, there are millions of reasons to be offended, and especially online, people don't say nice stuff to me ever. Um, I am what I am. I'm a lion. And I can handle it. But I would expect someone who's so popular and that she can receive an unlimited MTG Arena account, according to herself, to be able to handle this as well. I know people don't handle it the same, but at the same... At, if people posted mean com every mean comment, if Tolarian posted every mean comment or Rudy posted every mean comment about them and then tagged Channel Fireball, Channel Fireball will go out of business real fast. And maybe that's what she's trying to do. Which would be interesting because I would be intrigued by that concept. Anyway, bye guys.